Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Evil West on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on Evil difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we got quite a bit of information. So, first things first, we met up with our buddy Edgar, and we informed him that we are not dead, so he no longer needs to go on his killing spree. We then met up with Chester the Vampire, who gave us two important pieces of information. First things first, he told us about Felicity's location and also her plan. And he also informed me that the flower that we used to cure our father doesn't actually work. It just slows down the process of changing into a vampire. So obviously, Jesse and Edgar then panicked rushed back to Calico. When we arrived, there was blood everywhere and William had transformed into a vampire. And unfortunately, he killed our main man, Virgil. So Virgil is no longer alive. So Jesse has now set out to find his father and take him down for good. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be making our way through this train station and we are gonna be taking down William Rentier, AKA our father. So let's get straight into things. Now, I think also, um, Chester mentioned that the trains full of bats that we saw a few videos back during the Brutch boss fight, I think he mentioned that Felicity is going to be taking those to DC to convert everybody into vampires. So I don't know if we're going to be doing anything in this area involving these trains, but I think our only objective here is to take down our father. So yeah, let's get straight into things. Apologies for the long intro, but a lot of stuff happened in the ending of the previous video, so quite a few things to talk about. Now, uh, this mission off camera, I actually, I think I found every single collectible except one chest. So there is, there is a chest somewhere in this level that I never found. So fingers crossed I can find that today as well. But I should be able to show you all where the majority of collectibles are. But finding the collectibles in this game ain't very difficult. They're uh, all pretty easy to see as long as you have a look around. They're all pretty easy to find. But uh, how are we doing in terms of money? Right, we've got 4,321. Uh, I do want to get this upgrade at some point. Um, hmm. I think for now, I'm probably going to grab this. Yeah. Just having those extra two additional bolts is actually very, very useful. I'm noticing it more and more as I play through on YouTube and not have the ability whilst I've got it off camera. So yeah, it really does actually help quite a bit. So I've grabbed that now. And the next thing we're gonna save up for is the upgrade to our... No surprise you picked this place to hide. The next upgrade we're gonna buy is gonna be the one for our uh, dynamite that basically summons a uh, electric tornado. It's amazing. <laughs> Causes all kinds of carnage. Oh, great. There better not be a stalker around here. Oh, one minute. I can already see the gits. There we go, finally. But I can't remember what we have to do in terms of like combat situations in this bit. I don't know if it's uh, one of those easier areas or if it was an absolute nightmare. I can't really remember. I think it was a bit of a nightmare. I think there was a few battles we had to do where there was a very shitty uh, combination of enemies. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. I know the uh, final mission and the mission after this one were uh, somewhat rough, but I think this one was okay. Even the battle with William weren't too bad, thinking about it. Oh shit. Oh, we are not done yet. Just remember, if you kill enemies that have been electrified, you will gain... Um, energy for your uh, supercharge ability, providing you've got the right perk unlocked. 
So make sure you do that because um, having a full bar of supercharges is so bloody important in this game, especially on evil difficulty. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna grab this. A shockwave appears when you, you when you enter your supercharge ability. Actually, I, oh, what was the other one? Have I got? Oh no, we're gonna grab that one. Actually, I haven't grabbed that yet. This one just gives you a passive heal over time, as it says it takes 90 seconds to fully heal you. So uh, just that little bit of extra health over time can save your life, you know. And having that in combination with this, where if you die, you actually don't die, and you get re uh, you get healed for 25% of your health. Just having these two together can pretty much give you like two extra chances before dying, so it's, it's very good. But we're probably gonna unlock quite a lot of these before we get to uh, the final boss, because you just start getting so much experience later on in the last two chapters. Because this is chapter 14, and then we've got 15 and 16. So, uh, yeah, we are getting somewhat close to the end, but there is still a lot of battling. Christ, what a maze. Maybe I need to get up high somehow. Possibly, Jesse, possibly. But all I really care about at the moment is uh, collecting lots of money so I can upgrade my uh, shit. <laughs> but um, I think we are going to be seeing quite a lot of leeches for the rest of the game. That seems to be the main enemy that uh, Flying Wild Hog Studios has uh, decided to use for the late game content and the thing is machinery over there might be useful the thing that i don't like the most about the leechers is they don't really take any damage from anything when you're fighting enemies in this game slowly over time all the enemies uh take a bit of damage just from you know chip damage from you know random bits of your uh, revolver flying around hitting people then you also have the bit of damage that things take from like your flamethrower or just from explosions but the leechers don't ever take any damage because they've always got their shields up so unless you're primarily focusing on them and destroying their shields they don't take any bloody damage they're an absolute nightmare but they're everywhere during the late game everywhere um, i can't remember um do i go i don't go down here do i no we need to uh we need to put a carriage in here if i remember correctly i think Maybe, or I could be lying. I might be lying. Oh, no, we might need to do that after, maybe. Or maybe we just have to put this one here. I don't know if we have to put one over there. I don't think we do. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm lying. <laughs> I might be telling Porky's Wolf more vets. Okay. Right. I know there's, I think there's going to be one of those little flying demons in a minute. The ones that make all enemies in the area immune to damage. So uh, I'm going to have to make sure we don't accidentally use our supercharge ability. Because uh, that will cause us all sorts of problems. Because those enemies, as you've seen, are a flipping nightmare. Okay, we've already looked in there. Lovely. Break this open. Okay. At least this switch we don't have to uh, electrocute ourselves to uh, turn it on. <laughs> it's already turned on and powered up, thankfully. Bingo. Oh no, we do have to do that. Okay, I wasn't lying. Oh no, I could see a dickhead over there. Oh, I think it's one of those uh, really fat guys with the shields. Oh. Alright, we'll just hope there ain't no leeches over there. Now that I've said it, there's probably a leecher. <laughs> but let's hope there isn't. I've had my, uh, I've had my fill of leeches uh, when we were doing that mission in Dickinson when we had to fight three leeches at once. I've had my fill of them since then. But nope. Oh no, there is one. You don't smell the same. Your scent is stripped of doubt. It's strong, confident. Spare me your damn tricks. Where are you? All right, well, William isn't sounding too healthy, is he? Great. Get the hell out of here, Leecher. Watch out, he's charging again.
Oh shit, I killed it. I was going to whack it into uh, the big guy, but I flipping killed it too quick. <laughs> Just remember, if you uh, do damage to them with your fists... Oh shit, that was bad. If you do damage with your fists, um, it slowly uh, builds up their stun bar. Oh, what did I roll into it for? What am I fucking doing? I would have died then if it weren't for my uh, perk. Okay. I kind of wanted to flip and die. I was I was taking a lot of unnecessary damage then. Let's do that again. Try to clap me. Oh no! That's not fair, he did the attack just as I charged him. What an absolute cock. I know I've got my supercharge ability, but I want to save it just in case, because I can't fully remember the kinds of enemies that we're going to see in this mission. And I know there is a few of those flying guys. There we go, we stuck them. Oh shit, I didn't know I could still take damage on that bit. Chat. These guys have got so much bloody health, didn't they? I wouldn't... Oh, yes. Yeah. See, I knew it. Well, you didn't last long, did you, you cock? <laughs> you didn't last long. Oh, God. There was no need for that, Leech. I was there. You can see I'm slowly getting all my health back. See? Look how much health I've got back just by doing... Well, now I've finished the fight. But you see how much health I've got back just from that passive hill. It's very useful. Very, very useful. Well, that didn't go too badly. I mean, I died once, but I wanted to die because I completely balls it up. And then proceeded to completely balls it up again. I probably should have let myself die again. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Right. I think we have to go that way, but there might be some goodies over here. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. These big old chests that actually give me a useful amount of money. Instead of like a hundred or something, they give me a couple of hundred. A lot more useful. I also... Well, I don't know, I don't know if I'll waste money on it, but I might also get the uh, upgrade for the uh, crossbow. Uh, in the later chapters that does that thing where it uh, puts electric on all the enemies and electrocutes each of the enemies. I might get that, but there's so many like bigger enemies, I don't think it works on them, so it might be a bit of a waste of money. So I might go with something else, possibly. We'll see. I can offer you so much more. I don't understand why you're hesitating. Because I don't want to be a bloody vampire. Even if it gives me a lot more power, I still have to sit in the darkness for the rest of my life and avoid the sun. And I can't be dealing with that, mate. I love the sun. So uh, that's already a big reason. And also, I'll become a villain. Another big reason. Okay, we can't actually go up there yet. Yeah, we have to go and make our way around. Okay. 
Okay. I haven't left anything though, have I? I think there's also a three... Um, I don't know if it's free or... Um, yeah, it's free. Three documents for us to find. And there are 30, uh, ba 30 uh, coin bags and crates, etc. Two chests and three pieces of law. Like a document law. Okay. But if you see a chest and you see me walk past it like an idiot, because uh, there's one chest I didn't find off camera like I mentioned, if you do see it in this video and you see me walk past it like an absolute twat, feel free to timestamp it and call me a twat. <laughs> Just be like, Beowulf, you're a fucking twat. Like a contagion, stronger than life and death. Don't you want to taste it? Show yourself! I don't know why you're making all of these offers to me, uh, William, because you wouldn't have taken these offers either. I'll bet you the chest is in. Oh. I don't know if it was a chest I, chest I missed or if it was like... I don't know. It was either this or a chest. I think it was a chest, though. But you're making all these offers to me, William, because you've transformed into a vampire. If there was a vampire making these very same offers to you when you were human, William, you also wouldn't take the offer either. The only reason you're uh, saying all this shit now is because you're a vampire, you silly goose. Oh, sweet, another... Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the electric tornado ability for the dynamite. We ain't got anywhere near enough money yet, though. There you go, lightning tornado. The electrically augmented explosive bundle spawns a temporary pocket size electric whirlwind. Lightning tornado. Man, this ability is so flipping good though. I don't I don't know. It's very good at dealing with tons of little enemies just so easily. But I don't know. I think it follows me, the tornado. So you want to try and sell it off and then run in a direction that's going to get you the most use out of it. Because I think it does start following you. But I could be wrong about that. So it's probably good for like, I don't know, I feel like the normal explosives are better on bosses. <laughs> I don't know though. It is very good though, we are going to get it just because it looks bloody cool. It's probably very good if you're fighting Brutch and you're trying to get that trophy. You know, when you have to uh, kill the leeches, um, kill the uh, leech enemies before they heal the boss. That ability is probably very good for that. So when you do New Game Plus, it's probably an easy way to get the trophy. Even on evil difficulty maybe. I could be wrong though. You probably want to get that trophy on easy difficulty. Oh, great, here we go. Oh, not you again. Holy fuck, look at the amount of guys in here. Oh, I think there might be... Um, there's going to be a gaster in here, the ones that go on the wall, I think. I need to kill a few though, so I can uh, get my supercharge ability if I want to. Alright, we've got our full supercharge ability now. Oh, there's Gaster Boy. Just remember, you can dash him. Oh, you cheeky fuckers. Chat, watch out. Shit. I was trying to find throw dynamite at him, but there was too much carnage going on. I couldn't see shit. Oh, there we go. Fucking no, He's actually pretty damn weak. When you consider that he's like one of the more elite enemies, he dies very quickly. I knew he was going to do that. Actually, if I throw one more enemy in. There we go. I'm nearly dead, mind you, so I need to be careful. Although I am uh, obviously healing up a little bit at the moment. 
Oh, Jesse doesn't want to use his ability to uh, pull enemies to him for some reason. He's doing all that crap again. <laughs> Man, they're so flipping tanky, these guys. There we go. Not tanky enough, apparently. I love how they melt. It just looks exactly the same as in the Tomorrow Children when the islands despawn. It looks like that. <laughs> um. Oh, there we go. Up you go. Make sure we haven't left anything back here. One thing you also want to check is um, sometimes there's like a few bits of uh, a few um, crates and stuff that you can break with your uh, gun or your dynamite, and uh, there's normally a chest hidden behind them or something like that. But they they don't even make the uh, the chest uh, they don't make the crates look like they're destructible, so it's very easy to miss things like that sometimes. So uh, it's another thing to watch out for. Son. I'm actually not afraid, William. Compared to Brutch, you and Felicity are both somewhat easy to defeat. <laughs> You're both a bit of a nightmare. I think what makes them so easy is the next two bosses that we fight, they both have checkpoints during the battle. So uh, that's what makes it a little bit easier. Holy shit, how did I nearly miss that? That spider right in my face is terrifying. Look at that, that's horrible. <laughs> I think there's a bunch of web on this bit that don't lead anywhere, maybe. But we'll burn them all just in case. Yeah, see? Dead ends. I see. Finally growing up. What are you going on about? He's a very mature adult. I don't think I missed this one. If I did miss this one, I'm an absolute moron. No, I didn't miss that one. I definitely had the ghost zapper. Okay. But then why do you burn that? That doesn't... Does that lead anywhere? That does. But what is the point in that? Can I break that? No. Ugh. A nasty. Yeah, see, so just... I can't see anything. If there is anything there, I can't bloody see it. <laughs> Well, at least we don't get spiders. Me too. Me too, Jesse. <laughs> Me too, Jesse. I fucking hate them. And I hate bats. <laughs> oh, there's no need for that, Jesse. There's no need for that. Bats are cute. Bats are adorable. Oh, I don't know if I've already said this in uh, the previous video. I don't know if I already mentioned this. Uh, but if I haven't mentioned it, hopefully I haven't mentioned it, but I used to get bats in my garden all the time. I used to have a cherry tree um, in the garden and uh, it died because the tree caught some sort of disease. So it had to be cut down. But when I had that cherry tree in the garden, we used to get the fruit bats in the tree all the time uh, in the UK. They were adorable, but oh my God, they made some demonic noises in the middle of the night. Mind you, it's nowhere near as demonic as the fucking foxes. <laughs> foxes make way worse noises, but the bats were always like... <laughs> all the time, it was... Yeah, a little bit eerie, but a lot more quiet and cute compared to the fox's demonic howls. God, the foxes are annoying. Someday you find your way to walking the path I worked so hard to lay down for you. You don't need to do that anymore. I do need to do it because I'm going to find you and I'm going to kick your ass. I know I've got enough money, game. Jesus, leave me alone, right? I'm saving up. 
This is like the bank, literally the bank messaging you every day, letting you know you've got savings and the new PlayStation VR 2 is coming out soon, so why don't you buy it? You can afford it, even though you're saving. That's what it's like up in the corner. Imagine if the bank did that. <laughs> The banks won't do that anyway. The banks don't actually want you to spend money because all of your money in the bank is actually funding the bank. The bank actually uses your money for things, you know, but just they've got so much money that you can, you know, when you withdraw your money, they've still got your money. But they're technically using your money for stuff. They're running the bank with your money. They don't want you spending money. Why do you think when you open a savings account and you put loads of money into the bank, they give you a little bit of interest because they want you to keep your money in their bank? Because that's why if the bank crashes, you lose all your money and you don't ever get it back. I had a friend at school, uh, uh, well, she was actually she was my girlfriend once as well, only for a couple of months, but her uh, mum and dad got absolutely screwed over because some sort of bank like crashed or something they were doing and then they had a really bad Christmas. So I remember her telling me about it, she was very unhappy. She wasn't spoiled or anything, but she was like very sad about the whole situation. I, think I couldn't do nothing back then because I was only 11. Yeah, it was sad though, very sad some sort of savings account for Christmas or something and then the company went bust and then there was no way of getting your money back because they didn't have no money. The company would just folded. It was the end. Gotta get to the other side. Okay, I think we have to press the button first. Yeah, we should... We should reach William in the next video. Oh, I something knocked out the power supply. I think William's like up there somewhere. Yeah, and over there there's going to be a big fight. So yeah, we we'll probably be getting to William in the next video. I've got about 11 minutes left, and I don't think that's going to be enough, especially with the uh, fight we have to do when we cross over the uh, the trench. So yeah, I we'll probably have to do it next time. Oh, and if you want to change, uh, also I clicked, I clicked on one of these to remind myself what they actually do. It doesn't just reset your perk; it also resets your uh, your upgrades, your money upgrades on your guns. So if you've bought any upgrades and you think ah they're pretty shit and you want your money back, um, just click on that and you can do it. I think you can only do it once on each machine though, so uh, make sure you do actually uh, do what you want to do and don't board it up otherwise you won't be able to change them again I don't think but I could be lying about that hang on wait 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 Jesse Jesse we doing I said wait fucking hell okay just seeing if there's anything we could do over here with it all right, we're going to push this one down here because basically what we're going to be doing now is there's a bunch of switches on each uh, on different lengths of this uh, wire, and uh, we've got to put them all on. We've got to turn them all on. So it'll be like, I think there's one on that side. Then we've got to turn that one on, and the power will go over there. Then we turn on another one, and then you know, so on and so forth. Just a bunch of buttons to turn on at the moment. I don't think there's any fighting we've got to do, so we can have a quick cup of tea. Relax for a second, and then uh, enter absolute carnage when we cross over the trench. Look, I can see a uh, chest up there. Just check there's nothing up here first. Right, let's have a quick look, see if I can afford what I want to get. Nope, we need another two, 2,100. Oh, that's how we get back across. Okay, so first, first things first. I didn't even need to do that yet. I could have done that after. First things first, we're going to push this over here, grab that chest, and then we need to bring it back. Because I think that's how we escape, because we can't reach that uh, little ladder over there. Or those chains, whatever the hell it is. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of goons in that bit right there. <laughs> a ton of goons. 
I'm assuming that I've already gone past that chest that I was supposed to have found. <laughs> but like I said, if any of you guys and girls saw it or you know where it is, just let me know in the comments. Let, let me know that I'm a blind twat because I probably walked past it. It might have been in one of those areas where those cobwebs were actually. Well, but no, we did find a big chest there, so it's got to be somewhere else. I'm assuming it was more near the start, maybe. Okay, right, let's get these buttons on. And let's go and get ourselves into another uh, punch-up. Hopefully we can kill them all without dying. We've done alright so far in this video. Except for the one death, but that was planned. Honestly, it was planned. I didn't just die, I wanted to die. I, I promise you. I know you're probably thinking, that'd nah, be well if you just died, just shit. I did honestly want to die. But then I proceeded to do the exact same stupid thing again, and I should have probably got myself killed again. I was like, nah, never mind. It doesn't matter anyway. Because sometimes I use certain abilities, and I'm like, oh, do I wanna, did I want to use that amount? Did I want to use that much Gatling gun? Did I want to use all my flamethrower? Yeah. And then I feel like maybe I should just die and not use it. Stuff like that. Every time I hear magpies outside my window now, it reminds me of that game Unravel. You know that game we did a couple of years ago with Yarni, the little red guy? I also made one as well. I made a blue one. And uh, then EA announced Unravel 2. And you had a red Yarni and a blue Yarni. So I basically predicted the future. But that game was amazing. But I think in uh, Unravel 1, the first level, I think you're in like a garden doing just like some easy puzzles because it's like an early level in the game. And there's a magpie flying around making the same magpie noise that you hear out in your garden. Every time I hear magpies, now it reminds me of Yarni. I flipping loved Unravel. EA Originals are, have done so good. You know, like when EA was working with, um, oh, that's, I think, the Swedish, you know, the guy that says, fuck the Oscars, the one who did um, Two Brothers and uh, t uh, those games. Oh, he, he, they helped with them. EA Originals have done some fantastic games, to be honest. This should work. What was it? You got It Takes Two is their most recent game. You had two brothers, and then you had the uh, the prison break one in the middle. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Their games are amazing, but they're always co-ops. If you've got no one to play with, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> a Way Out, that's what it was called, A Way Out. I played that. I should have done it on YouTube, but yeah. That, I played that back with her. Obsolete, regressive. Look at us. Designing trinkets and contraptions to mimic the gods. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, aim at the fucking creepers, Jesse. Oh, we're gonna. Oh. Ignore him for that. Right. Let's deal with this guy first. I want to try and charge up my ability if I can. Oh, not a leech, man. Come on. There's so many enemy types. Why leeches? <laughs> Please, stop with the fucking leeches. You can ignore that guy up there, because even if he hits you with a web, it doesn't do damage to you, but it just obviously slows you down. Oh, two stalkers. Well, that's not fucking fair. I got stuck. Alright, I just technically died. That's why I'm uh, glowing now, because I'm. Yeah, oh well, I died. <laughs> okay. That's going to be a fucking nightmare. I'm going to blow up that TNT just because Jesse keeps trying to aim at it like crap. Let's wait for the leecher to appear. When we use that, we get rid of his shield. Oh god. Now, I know we need to kill the, the uh, leecher, Jesse, but you need to stop aiming at it, mate. Oh, lovely. Oh shit, webs everywhere. Webs everywhere. That's the problem with a guy at the top. 
Oh, I just technically died again. Oh, I died properly. Okay. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I think the only way you can get that guy to come down is by shooting, uh, when he glows, shooting both of his weak spots. But obviously, if you do that, then you're going to have three stalkers down here. Might be able to get a cheeky hit on the leech, that. Nope. Oh, watch out, I keep forgetting about them. Perfect, I think we got him. Yep, we got the leech up. Right, we just want to keep fucking oh, rolling. Remember, if that guy hits you up there with a web, it don't do damage to you, but it does slow you down. Oh, sweet. Oh, I, keep, I need to stop walking into shit. I didn't even need a heal then, really. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Oh, fucking... I'm getting real sick of that train in the way. Apologies, I'm not saying much at the moment. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not being slowed down just when they're about to jump because that will get me killed. Killed the other one. Is that the one from the roof? Yeah. And I think he just summoned a bunch of creepers. That's just dirty, ain't it? Fucking dirty. Apologies, I keep rolling into shit. I'm just, I'll keep trying to avoid the webs. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to have to end the video, Wolf Wolf Vets. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, we uh, I think we just have to basically make our way up through that um, that little factory over there. And I think we will uh, be getting into the boss fight with William, which uh, should be an interesting one. I can remember a lot of the stuff in that fight, but there's other bits that I can't remember. So we might we might have a few unnecessary deaths, but we shall see. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.